Now, as the UK slowly lifts lockdown restrictions, some industries have had to be more patient than others. Among them, the world of performing arts. The culture secretary says he's desperate to see live shows return. The soul of our nation is what he called them. So to that end, Oliver Dalden has a five-stage plan to get the creative industries creating again. Our arts and entertainment correspondent Lucy Cotter reports on the roadmap to recovery. Oh, it's so strange being back in here. I think it's been 12 weeks since I was in here last. Closed for weeks, with no audiences, no money and no idea of when they can reopen. Theatres like the Arcola are desperate and say they need more than just a roadmap from the government. I think they've acknowledged that it's going to be some time before theatres are at the point where they can reopen. But we knew that and actually what we needed was, and what we still need, is clarity on what the government policy is on how we're going to reopen safely and when. And presumably you need dates, you need a time frame. We need a time frame. We need to know when it's going to be safe and we need to know how it's going to be financially viable. And until that time, we need to know that the government's got our back. The Culture Secretary's roadmap consists of five stages. Stage one, allowing rehearsals and training with no audience, is already allowed, as is stage two, which allows performances for broadcast. Stage three will see performances take place outdoors with an audience. Four allows them indoors with a limited distanced audience. And at stage five, performances will be allowed both indoors and outdoors with a larger audience. Missing, crucially, is the time frame. We have said by the beginning of July, we need absolute clarity on the dates that we are planning towards. And let's be clear, we also need clarity from the government on what support they're able to offer this industry. And actor Simon Callow believes the government's plan lacks urgency, given the industry is on its deathbed. I'm glad that he's made it rather than not making any statement because the silence has been deafening up till now. But we, it's... It, it, a, we have to deal with the current situation, critical current situation, and B, we have to have a much more rigorous plan for how to get back. I'm not pretending it's easy. It's really seriously problematic, but we have to really divide something. Otherwise, these precious aspects of our national cultural life will truly wither and die. 70% of theatres could close completely before Christmas if they can't reopen safely. So time really is running out for the sector. Lucy Cotter, Sky News.